Hello there, uh, my name is Rob Holbrook and I'm the Head of Maths and Computing Faculty here at Hayesfield School. Um, and I'm just going to just take a couple of minutes to talk to you about MassWatch, which is our virtual learning environment. Well, it's a virtual learning environment that we use and integrate into everything we currently do uh, at Hayesfield from Year 7 uh, right the way up to Year 12. For those of you who don't know anything about MassWatch, it, uh, the backbone of it is essentially a video tutorial system. Okay, so within MassWatch, there are hundreds upon hundreds of uh, video clips, okay? And we can search them here uh, through our drop-down menus, okay? We have choices from Key Stage 3, GCSE, and indeed AS, so the uh, Year 12 videos. Um, and we can start to look at how, whether we want foundation or higher, uh, okay, different grades, uh, topic areas, uh, or we can just do a general search, okay? So I've started looking here for um, but if I just would make it slightly more generic, okay, we'll go for sequences, then we can see that um, all related topics are coming up. And when we click on these, okay, each has a clip number assigned to it. Um, so generate a sequence from the end term, for example, if we click on that, and indeed the video tutorial is here for us. Okay. Um, Mr. Ben is going to talk to you a little bit later about some of the attachments to this, so the interactive questions that are assigned for each video clip. Uh, okay, where students can have a go at those and get instant feedback, as well as a written worksheet as well, okay, which may be used, say, for example, uh, for a homework, okay. Um, so if I just come back out of that and come back into the clip here, so there are hundreds and nearly thousands of videos uh, right the way um, from sort of key stage three, year seven, early year seven work right the way up to A level. And that forms the backbone of MassWatch. What MassWatch allows us to do as teachers though is to um, have our classes okay set up within it. So you can see here, I've got an overview of all of year 11, but I've also got my other classes mixed in. And the feedback that we get from MassWatch uh, when we are uh, using this sort of remote learning is quite incredible. Okay, so just as a highlight, I can see the number of logins this month here, how many minutes have been spent on questions. Okay, so you can see uh, at the moment set 1B at just ahead of set 1A in terms of the number of minutes spent okay, uh, on MassWatch this month. Um, and if I go into each of these classes, I can then start to drill down. Um, you know, by student, how many uh, video clips have been watched, how many questions have been answered. I can set assignments and I can see how they're doing. And when it comes to remote learning, this is really, really powerful because when we are under the you know, rem remote learning, obviously we don't get to look over the student's shoulder as to what they're doing and what they're writing. However, by using MassWatch, we actually do. So when an assignment is set, okay, with a normal sort of due date, uh, sort of hand in date, then students can ask for help on particular questions. Now, what we can do is, as teachers is then go into that student, have a look at exactly what they have written, okay, and it's live at that point. So the moment you log in, uh, it takes a snapshot of exactly what has been written for every student in every one of your classes for all of their assignments. You can, I can see how many attempts a student has made at a question. I can see the answers that they've put in. It will show me how many seconds they have been looking at that question for. Um, and so I can see the potential mistakes and uh, misunderstandings straight away there and then. Okay, and that is really powerful. So when we are dealing with remote learning, the one thing that is taken away is, this, is as a teacher is being able to almost live uh, see what students are doing. But MassWatch brings that back. It allows us, yes, it's online, but it allows us to peer in at the workings and what they're doing. Um, and it allows us to then record video, say like this, I can actually look at the student's work, uh, recording a video, and then reply to them via, via email, for example, with the video clip and helping them move on. Um, the assignments can be set um, just on a collection of topics, okay, or individual topics. It's entirely up to us. But one other thing that we found to be very, very powerful recently is the fact that they have exam papers set on here too. So we've been able to set full exam papers uh, for the year 11 groups in particular, uh, which are under time conditions. And again, you know, they submit, they have a countdown of uh, an hour and a half for typically for an exam paper. 
And once that time is up, then, um, you know, that's it. It's like the end of the exam, they can't enter anymore. And the, it automatically marked and uh, graded as well. So MathWatch for us is very powerful, it has been for a very long time. It's integrated into everything we do at Hayesfield under normal circumstances. But when it comes to remote learning, it actually manages to um, help us keep close eye on student work and help sort of intervene where we can see um, misunderstandings coming in and support our students. I'm now going to just ask Mr. Bent, my second in faculty, to quickly talk uh, you through what MathWatch would look like from the student end and how to log in and so on and so forth. Okay, thank you very much for your time. Hello there, I'm uh, Mr. Bent, I'm in charge of Lower School Maths and I'm about to show you how to log on to our VLE Maths resource called MathWatch. And you can do this from any computer. So first of all, go into um, the web browser and type in MathsWatch, like so, and return. And the first answer that comes up is uh, the vle.mathswatch.co.uk, and that's the one that I would like you to click on. And when you click on this one, you're prompted for a username and a password. So the username is dependent upon the student and the, it is made up of um, some letters and some digits. The first digits is the year that your daughter or you started at Hayesfield. So, for example, um, if you started this year, it would be 20 for 2020 and then it's the surname of the student so I'm going to have something called Josephine Bloggs so B-L-O-G-G-S and then the initial of that student so J and then I need to add on here at Hayesfield but don't put a dot com at the end it doesn't like and it won't let you in so this start of this is actually the student's uh, school login um, details, but I've just plonked on an extra at Hayesfield at the end of it. Now the password is Hayesfield1, which I've got here. You can see Hayesfield1. Now this one is case sensitive, so it does need a capital H. So I'm just going to make sure I type that in with a capital H. So just bear with me. Hayesfield1. Okay, now hopefully something should pop to life here and you should be... Um, logged in at this point so you can see Josephine has got some work assigned and we can see currently she has a maths watch starter pack so I'm just going to click on that we'll quite often we'll set um, some of these as um, homeworks for our students to do so I'm just going to click in there and you can see that at the top there's a series of questions one to nine that have been set on that one um, we can also down here we have some options to view videos these are help videos that will allow the students to answer these questions if they get stuck well I've got to assume my students are quite good at this one this is quite a basic one so I'm clicking on number one and it's saying write the number 794 in figures so in the answer box up here I'm going to put 794 and then I want a math watch to check it for me so I'll submit that answer and I've got that right um, say if I do one incorrectly, 509 in words, so let's put uh, 609, be a bit of an idiot. If I then submit that answer, it will say, whoops, you've some incorrect answers, but so you can always go back and change that to the correct one and you won't lose out on that, so submit answer and I'll get my ting of joy. Okay, there's other things for me to show you as well. Um, I'm just gonna show you the video section. Why that might be useful is if your daughter is going to um, uh, revise for a test or an exam, we will supply your daughter with um, a revision list that would look like so. Here are all the skills that the, we want them to practice or they're gonna be tested. And on the right hand side, there is a maths watch clip and a little reference. So for example, if I pick up S6, which is the first thing that might be on the test, if I want to find that on MathsWatch, I go into the video section and I can search in here S6 and then press return. And then you can see that gives the option of choosing mean, median, mode and range. So I'll click on that one. And here we've got a video which you can be playing and that will teach... Uh, 
Uh, okay, so that will teach the students how to do that. There is also some interactive questions for them to check it, so they can do those as three interactive questions here. Or also, if you go back there, uh, I can also have a look at a worksheet which you could print out and do that. And if you bring that into school, then we can mark that. So that's basically how to get into MathsWatch. It's nice and easy. We use this a lot. So feel free as a parent as well to, to have a little hunt around and see how it's done. Okay, thanks for your time. Take care.